The results of the 2012 Iowa caucus are the decision Ohio, oh, Iowans are making. Seems to be especially tough this year for a number of reasons. One of those reasons, the three front runners in the state, Mitt Romney, Rick Santorum, and Ron Paul, are all causing headaches for the Republican establishment. Ben has the reality check. Republican strategist and commentator Dee Dee Banky did an interview recently with Breitbart TV. She spent months in Iowa and says the Iowa caucuses are not as democratic as some people believe. That's because the district chairperson in each of Iowa's more than 1,700 districts holds a lot of sway with the people who will be caucusing. The party still matters in Iowa. Uh, in some states, maybe not as much. But in Iowa, it really does. I mean, and if this is like, hey, buddy, I need your help here with this candidate. He's going to do this for agriculture. He's going to do that for business. Yeah. I need you. I need your vote. Well, you know what? That's his buddy, Ted, you know, and he may go ahead and go with Ted because it helps Ted in his position. So if the process in Iowa is for the precinct chair to sway people, who will those chairs be swaying Iowans toward tonight? The three leaders, Romney, Santorum, and Paul, all pose a different problem for the Republican establishment. According to Benke, We want Iowa to pick the winner, and we think Romney will be the winner. But it's like, oh, but Santorum's worked so hard, and he came to my church, and he came to my diner, and I really like him, and we think he represents Iowa. So there's a real split there. So they're, you know, they are concerned about the Ron Paul thing, because if they split that, Ron Paul could be number one. And therein, according to Benke, is the establishment's dilemma. Do you vote for Romney because you think in the end he'll be the candidate, even though you don't necessarily believe in his message? Do you vote for Santorum, who you feel better represents you and is a nice guy, but you don't believe has a chance out of Iowa? Because if you split the vote between these two, then Ron Paul may win, and the establishment, who is an average age of 60 years old in Iowa, doesn't want that to happen. According to Banky, the main reason Iowa is pushing caucus goers away from Paul is because they fear falling into disfavor with the rest of the Republican establishment across the nation. They had so much uh, change with the schedule with, you know, Florida just making everything crazy, you know, and, and so Iowa knows that, you know, they're kind of on the chopping block here, they could be. So that's very important to them. So I'm sure that there are a lot of discussions and trying to figure out, you know, where the votes are going to go. So here's what you need to know. We are at an unprecedented time in U.S. history, and the challenges facing the president over the next four years will be extraordinary. Who cares if Ron Paul wins Iowa? Who cares if it's Rick Santorum or Mitt Romney or Newt Gingrich or one of the others? The people who should care the most, the registered voters in the state of Iowa who will be caucusing tonight. And who should their votes go to? To the man or woman who district chairpersons believe will cast the most favor from the rest of the nation on the party? No. To the man or woman who they believe, the voters believe, will rise to the extraordinary challenges ahead. And that is Reality Check like to make your voice heard on the story, you can head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan WXIX. And just